even if you just want to ignore it all and get her back, don't fucking do it. You leave. Let her feel bad. Just walk away. Even if you want to forgive her, don't. She has to apologize first. I was just like, no, I just want her back now. Fuck it. No, no, no. Did her an incredible disservice. I never want to see her again. No way. So evil. Yet I loved her so much. If she was a stranger, I'd be like, eh, whatever. Just so much fucking love. Then so much hate. Then you've got the confusion. And then I'm like, she never cheated. I'm an idiot. Fuck me. La, 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 la. No, she did cheat. Ah, fuck you, I hate you, really. And it keeps shifting, because the confusion, you know? Getting all these fucking emails, I'm sorry, it's all your fault, or, oh, I'm so sad, I can't live without you, or, oh, look at me, I'm so happy, and just fucking explaining everything. Oh, I, you, yeah, you go insane. What a fucking climb Mount Everest for her. That's why I wanted to be just friends, because I knew for more than just friends, it's not gonna work. So, Lana, blame me as much as you want. You're the one that couldn't stay loyal. She inverts all the energy. Her answers are either vague, untrue, or she says nothing. Inverts all the fucking energy. I fucking hate it when people invert their emotions, keep it all inside. That's such a pussy fucking thing to do. Fuck society for telling everyone to keep your emotions inside. If I want to fucking let it out, I'm gonna fucking let it out. I don't give a fuck if you look at me weird and shit. Fuck you. We're humans. We have emotions for reasons. They're not supposed to be kept inside. We're meant to express, we're meant to let it all out. Then you carry that shit forever. She has all this hatred and she's bottling. She's gonna bottle it forever. It's gonna fucking weigh her down forever. Over me? Am I, I only reacted to you. Is it worth it? Let it the fuck out. So when we see two people arguing, that's good. Communication resolves everything. When you don't communicate, when you bottle shit up, you can't resolve it. All that fighting is good. Communication is good. Then shit gets resolved. You fucking don't talk to each other, bottle that shit up. You're only prolonging the resolution. When I see people just shut down, inverting it, it's pathetic. Like a frightened squirrel just quivering little fucking corner. holding it all in, and I'm like, you fucking pussy, let it the fuck out. I told her, I said, go Hulk on my ass, punch me in the fucking face, kick my ass, let it out. I'm like, let's go to Lucky's Donuts to talk everything over so that we can at least peacefully continue to live in the same area. No bottling, bottling. Fuck mankind. Obviously this planet's fucked. One out of every five men are circumcised. Who thought that is a good idea? It lowers the cancer rate. Why don't you just chop off a woman's boobs? And she'll never have breast cancer. Another reason for chopping it off? Oh, you don't uh, clean it. It gets uh, infected and you gotta cut it off anyway. Those lazy fucks that are too lazy to clean it deserve to have it chopped off. I would have fucking cleaned it every day. It's there for a reason. Ugh, it's just a piece of skin. Fuck you. Regardless, my choice. You wait till I'm old enough. I would've said, fuck it. So fucking dumbstruck. What the fuck is wrong with this planet? Can you move your phone because I want to climb up this rock? I'm making a video. Can you climb it and not knock it down, maybe? Okay, maybe this way. I'm not sure how. Can I climb this? This way. Yeah, I could peek out upside down. Yeah, try. <laughs> close. Very close. Cool. Bye. Bye bye. You acknowledge your mistakes, you try to right all of the wrongs, take full responsibility. It's so fucked up. I seriously want to fucking fly out to Mars. She doesn't understand why I did the things that I did. Doesn't understand that she's the source of all my crazy reactions. And it's just like, oh, I fucked this relationship up. Fuck fixing it. I'll just move on to a new one to fuck up. It's like she realized she fucked it up so much she can't fix it. I'll just run away. Whoa, I fucked that up. Whoops. Yeah, it's not worth fixing. Fuck it, I'll just find a new relationship. Blows my mind. I don't think she learned anything. Please stop my fucking ass. She doesn't give a 
fuck. She doesn't care. She only cares about herself. It's all about her. Everyone else, fuck, who cares? Hey, I can't feel what you're feeling. So who cares? Look at that man crying in so much pain. Wait, I can't feel what he's feeling. Why should I care? It's kind of annoying though. Oh, oh he's crying because I stabbed him? Should I, I can like take the, the sword out. I could fix him. Eh, fuck it, I'm just gonna close the door. Yeah, well fuck that up. Uh, now I'm just gonna run away from the mess that I made. Yeah, just go away. I'm gonna find another man. I mean, I might fuck him up too. Yeah, maybe. Well, fuck, whatever. That's the most logical thing to do. There's like a man fucking right outside her window on fire. Screaming, I want fire, And I was trying to get some sleep. Instead of like doing anything to help him, she fucking closes the window. It's that fucking bad. I have never seen anything like it in my entire fucking life. Complete, empty, fucking heart. No compassion. Just her, fuck everyone else. Literally, fuck everyone else. And figuratively, fuck everyone else. Stuck with these memories. Fucking, and you know what hate is? Hate is love. Under hate lies love. Hate shields love. Hello. Hello. There goes my Playboy energy drink. When you refuse to talk to someone, you're showing that you're hurt. When you're emoting anger, showing that you're hurt. You can only hurt if you care. She didn't care, she talked to me. I told her this too, I'm like, you know, by not talking to me, by showing all this hate, you're only showing that you still care about me. And logic just doesn't get through. So yeah, Alana, I hate you. It means I still care about you because of the good times. I tried my best. Man can only do so much. Try your best only to make everything way worse. Mankind. So fucked up. When you don't talk to someone, you're showing that you're a fucking pussy. It hurts too much. You carry all that hate with you forever. That's so much smarter. Instead of just letting it out, just one 20 minute conversation let it all out and resolve everything. No, I'm too much of a pussy to endure so much pain for a short period of time. In the long run, it goes away for that short period of time. So much fucking pain. No, no, I'm too scared. I'd rather carry it all with me forever. So that, that, that's smarter. Brains go I'm like, look, I'm different. I've changed. It's like, no, you, no, you didn't. Why did I want her back? What is wrong with me? So fucking hopeless. She feels like she's shit. Like a piece of fucking shit. I'm not worth better guys. I'm worth shit. How sad do you have to be? Fuck this planet for fucking her up, for fucking me up. Now what? Go fuck every other guy that doesn't give a shit about you. Maybe I'm wrong about everything. Then fucking convince me that you did nothing wrong. Convince me that it's all me. Or apologize. Diamond ring. Sold all my games. I don't know what's fucked in the head. Gave it to her and then she gave it back. Good. So you cheat. I overreact. You never want to see me again. Because I overreacted justifiably to your cheating. You cheat. I overreact, you hate me for overreacting to your cheating. You cheat, I overreact. You hate me for overreacting to your cheating. She doesn't see the cheating, she sees the overreaction. Doesn't look past it, doesn't look at the source, her, of the overreaction. She sees a crazy man. All she sees, the surface, not the source. That's her I'm explaining. Nothing gets, fuck, my head hurts. Just nothing gets, just, just, just. She does the same things I did. She doesn't realize 
You stopped stalking me because I stopped ignoring you. You never stopped ignoring me. Yeah, I, stupid stalking. What a, I know I'm pathetic. I am pathetic. I live so close. It's just so easy to flaunt your existence. Just try to make it all seem coincidental. So many fucking questions. And then later on, show her, I'm happy without you. Look at me. Happy. Oh, I'm gonna respect your feelings. I'm fucking off now. There's nothing fucking works. I tried every fucking thing to resolve everything, to understand everything. I don't deserve her. Ooh, creepy stalker. Ooh. You know what she says about the punching me? That was all a long time ago. The stalking too. That was a long time ago. So it's like, one day everything I did will be a long time ago. So why do you never want to see me again? It's just, you might be like, after she promised, she had a change of heart. She wanted to fuck me after I saw the conversation. I don't feel bad for me, I feel bad for her. Yeah, I'm heartbroken, but still, I, I want to save her, but I, I can't. She's just hopeless. Once she was crying, she felt so bad, didn't understand why everyone else was so mean to me. She was so caring before, what happened? She was crying for me. I like, loved it when she wore pigtails and like short shorts, right? And one day I went to her room and she was wearing, she, but the thing is, she hates wearing pigtails, right? You gotta like force her and then she'd, uh, and then she'd eventually put them on and then I walked in and then there she was wearing them for me even though she hates them. She did for me because I loved them and that was so sweet. And then once walking, there was this heart locket. I, I found it or, uh, for her and I gave it to her and she was like, it's a sign. What happened? I think she's the best person in the world. Now it's like she's the worst. She hurts you so badly. And then you just can't help but overreact. And then she hates you for overreacting. Doesn't understand that the set of circumstances that she put me in, I was inevitably going to go insane and you feel so bad for being in this trap you are inevitably going to fall and she blames you i was in a fucking trap she doesn't see that i was in a trap what is wrong with her she's so troubled all she had to do was communicate vent better yet be loyal better yet we just be friends what i wanted I knew it was all gonna get fucked. She keeps putting me in these fucking traps. Fucking police up my fucking ass. Why can't you just talk to me? That's it. You think I'm gonna punch you through the phone? Law doesn't fucking know. They automatically assume I'm the bad guy because I'm the man. You know what you did. Oh, it's serious. You made it fucking serious. I'm so dumbstruck. When I found out, you could have communicated with me on the phone, calmed me down, apologized, or explained yourself, convinced me you did nothing wrong, instead of hanging up, hanging up, making me more upset. I'm gonna fuck her later tonight. Lana was like, oh, he's just joking. After seeing that conversation, I'm like, eh. She lied so many times, I can't trust her again. Fucking juggling 10 guys that don't know she's screwing other guys. I don't know, man. I'm fucking freaking out. Four years. And she accused me of being the troll. I was like, no, I wasn't. I fucking hate people that can't forgive or can't apologize. It makes me fucking sick. No one's fucking perfect. You should have been a big macho man. Never look back. But at least I fucking acknowledge that I made mistakes. I am batshit fucking insane. Psychopath, weirdo, creep. So confused because she doesn't communicate. So I'm so fucking confused. I've never seen anything like it before. Fuck, can never trust a girl again. What a fucking waste of a relationship, of a woman just giving herself out to everyone. I've never fucking seen anything like it in my entire life. Are human beings that fucked in the head? My mentality, if I be nice to her long enough, she'll eventually be nice to me again. And fuck all. And the thing is, had we been in an open relationship, I wouldn't have cared. Go pogo fuck every guy on this planet. I wouldn't have cared. She would like fuck any guy as long as he has a cock. 
I explain. Uh, why don't we just forget all the bullshit? Let's just be friends. Then all the bullshit can't happen again. The fact that there's so much love, then so much hate, because it's so much fucking stupid. And then there's all this confusion and doubt, and communication would clear everything up instantly. But no, we can't fucking do that in this world. Which is why I want to fucking leave it. Why did I want her back? I don't know. I don't want her back, but I can't move on because I can't fucking trust anyone ever again. Fuck, I went insane because it's so stupid. Like, had I cheated and she never wanted to see me again, okay. Well, I made a mistake. When she cheated, what, was she controlled by her own emotions? No. Everything I did was because I was enslaved by my own emotions. Getting the police on my ass, so unnecessary. Is she like a psycho? I don't know. Am I the psycho? Am I a psycho because she's a psycho? Ugh. I want to run away. You know why I play video games? To get the fuck out of this world. But when they make the games fucking shitty, fuck you. I don't want to leave shit to enter shit. Telling her, I'm like, I agree with your decision to not revive our friendship because I ended it. I'm like, I'm on your side. I agree with you. I was an asshole. Who does that? What is wrong with me? She stabs me and then I apologize for, for overreacting. Like I should apologize, but after she apologizes, I don't forgive her. Fuck that. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's the fucking heron. With something, I don't even want to turn the camera off. Because then I gotta face reality again. She should be crying, apologizing. So messed up. Are all women cheaters? Are all women really emotional and not logical? I want her to realize the severity of her actions so she can better herself. Otherwise, history is just gonna repeat itself. I thought being nice was the answer. No! Then she's not gonna learn. You gotta be firm. You know how dangerous it is? Fucking random guys on the internet? Wanna fuck? Okay. Going in his house after coffee? You know how many psychos are out there? I feel bad for this girl because like I was her only help. She never wants to see me again. I don't want to see her fall as much as I hate her. I don't want to see her like ball. Yeah, I freaked out. Can you fucking blame me? Happy I don't give a shit persona. Just so you can resolve everything, then understand everything, then help her. Am I fucking wrong? I want to be wrong. I don't want to believe that she's that evil. I mean, yeah, I was an asshole to her in the past. Had I been nicer to her, she would have been less inclined to meet other guys. Maybe I fucked her up. Tell me, it's me. I don't want to believe that someone can be that heartless and evil. I don't want to believe it. Especially not her, this girl. All because she cheated on me with a fucking troll. She cheated on me. Her first two letters of the conversation, okay. After trying so hard to convince me to sleep with her again when I was refusing to. After, like, she was like, okay, all I can do now is lie. I promise convincing me to trust her and then just shatters it immediately after. Look at that sexy heron. Girlfriend of four years. Turns out to be the only girl that will actually be like, okay, if you're like, wanna make go? Go on a dating site. Try it. See if you even get a response. I mean, she told me she was gonna meet a guy. Never said she's gonna fuck him. We did get in some fights. She never unpromised. I never unpromised. Mentioned meeting a guy. Should I have known that she was, I mean, like, yeah, we can meet people. If we're gonna fuck other people, we're gonna let each other know. She could have just, I'm gonna fuck him. I would have been like, okay, it did not have to be secret. I bet her excuse would have been, I didn't want to upset you. It's like, you can't trust anyone. The girl of your dreams, you think you, you think you know her? She'd be so surprised. It just shocks you so much. I only had three close friends and then my family. Now they're all gone. Just memories, happy memories that keep haunting me because it's all gone forever. But you know what 
fuck them all. I never want to see them again. It didn't have to be like that. It did not have to be like that. I'd rather be alone. Fuck, I hate myself too. No escape. Yeah, I did stalker here and there. I mean, I was all fucked up. My world was spiraling out of control. Ten minute walk away from where she lives. So close. It's so easy to just flaunt your existence. Just make it seem coincidental. Every time I ran into her, like maybe I can psychologically just replace her negative image with, of me with a positive one by I run into her I'm like hey Alana how's it going she's like fuck off I'm like okay then maybe like maybe she hates me because I was so needy and desperate so if I do that enough times she'll realize I'm not needy and desperate I'm happy without you okay. but the thing is no it wasn't all stalking though it was like it's near my own area I'm allowed to be anywhere in my own area and it's just like fucking not sometimes yeah you know but sometimes it was genuinely coincidental most of the time it was it only matters when I actually follow her after she tells me to fuck off total following time 15 minutes she followed me that one day like 40 minutes I kept saying go away go away kept persisting I feel like her past subconsciously influenced mine. Like, I didn't realize the severity of like stalking and assault, all that bullshit. By her expressing the severity of my minuscule stalking and assaults, she only addressed the severity of her moderate stalking and assaults. She doesn't even realize that. So bad for hugging you? Well then how bad were you punching me? So bad for following you the 10 minutes away? Then how bad were you fucking like an hour and a half away, two cities away following me? It's just like, she wants to fucking exaggerate my little flaws so much to compensate for her guilt, but she's not realizing that by doing that, by growing my tiny little flaws, she's simultaneously growing her bigger ones. It's so bad for hugging me. You know, stretch that, stretch it, then she's like stretching her, you know, when, like when she punched me, stretching that, she's stretching mine to compensate for her guilt. And it's not fair. She can punch me, I can't hug her. She can stalk me, I can't stalk her. I mean, I stopped that bullshit, I stopped. I was insane. I gave her the benefit of the doubt before, and then I, I guess I just, reality clicked. She was gonna fuck him. No, I'm done making stupid ass mistakes. I was just making it all worse. I was fucking lunatic. But it's like you live so close, it's just so easy to flaunt your existence. It's just you're insane. I mean, had she lived far away, yeah, I wouldn't have. Now I'm the bad guy. That is some creepy ass shit. Every man has his breaking point. I fucking cracked. I never cheated on her. She got mad at me for having friends that are girls freaking out for having friends that are girls. So jealous, like family members. I was like just playing around with them and she got jealous, just playing around and shit. Nothing like just regular fucking, and she got, she even wanted to break up with me over it. I'm like just playing, why? And when it, she actually cheats, the perverted internet stranger, I'm not allowed to get upset. Like my brain is fucking frying. It's fucking frying. But please don't bug this girl. Just let her be. Hopefully she'll learn. Oh, I feel so bad. I wish you could help her, man. She just doesn't listen. It's like, I don't know. You got the answers. You got the cord, but the end doesn't fit into her brain. Fucking freaking out, man. Freak out. Yeah, call me the creepy stalker. Ooh, yeah. But the thing is, I'm allowed to be there anyway because I live there. Pretty much. Close there. I'm allowed to be anywhere around there. I can, if I want to, like, linger a little bit in a coffee shop, you'll subconsciously just do it, you know? Because it's in your area. You're allowed to be there any anyway, and you're going to linger a little bit. Hey, show. I I'm a nice guy. We can peacefully continue to live in this area. Hey, how's it going? She says, go away. Okay, walk away. But then it doesn't work. Cause she comes out of fucking nowhere. It's like, she's stalking me too. Comes out of nowhere. It's like, 
And then I, I'm like, gonna follow her. She's like, don't follow me. And then I'm like, Ugh. I was able to do it one time in the fucking dark, blowing my nose. She's standing, waiting for me to, to walk close to her. And yes, I should have walked to the other side of the road and continued, don't follow me. And I'm like, well, I'm walking this way anyway, but I still should have gone to the other side of the road or something. And, and then she's like, insults me. And then is like, don't follow me. I just was bottling Satan fucking snap. And what did I do? I said, you treat me with respect. Blah, blah, blah. Leave me alone. Blah, blah, blah. Mom comes out of fucking nowhere in the neighbor. It just goes to fucking total chaos. I'm trying to make fucking peace. And you're provoking me and fucking... Now I, like, I'm trying to be a good person. I'm trying to right all the wrongs, fix it. Even though she cheated. Just there, look. I'm, everything's cool, I've changed, I've learned from my mistakes. That's just, I live close here. I originally moved because we want to hang out more often. Now I'm stuck here, I can't afford to move away. I do all my work online on my iPhone. This bench is in free Wi-Fi. I don't want to keep paying for coffee and shit. I like this nice weather. I'll, if I want to be here, do shit on my phone. You know what, if you don't like my existence here, well, just don't talk to me or just, like you should have thought about that before cheating. Why should I fucking be banished? Like, you fucked it up. You go away. You're trying so fucking hard to fix it all. Any other guy would have been like, hell no. Abandoned her immediately. I felt for her. I understood. She's just troubled. Any other guy would be like, whore, slut. I just stopped and I was like, I understand. Like, she never chose that lifestyle. The world just fucked her up. I wanted to like help her, you know, just, I felt bad. Even though she fucking stabbed me in the heart, I wanted to fucking, I was like, I'll take all the blame. All the hatred that I gave to you, you don't deserve to care. Let me carry it all. Let me take the weight of the world. I'll take it all for you. All of it. I cry, not for me, but for what I did to you. I continue the chain reaction of bullshit, even though she pulled the trigger, felt bad. I apologize for everything. I just wanted to right all the wrongs and you can't. You just can't get through. Here, I'm typing away, typing away. You're just trying every trick in the book. Only making every mistake in the book. Every fucking psychological trick. Getting her jealous. Hey, I'm happy. Ooh, look at me so happy on kayaks and on horses. And look at me with all these girls. Look what you're missing out, babe. I was even talking like the fucking trolls. Like, hey, babe. Hey, what's up? Fucking, like maybe that will Fucking no! Nothing fucking worked in this fucking dome of hate and ignorance and stubbornness and it just blows my fucking mind. What is she thinking? I just want to know what she feels. She doesn't understand that any man in my set of circumstances that she put me in would have gone insane too. But just why fix the mess you made when you can just hop on over to another guy? Whoa, I fucked this up. Hey, should I? Nah, forget fixing it. Too much work and don't want any more drama. Fuck it. Fuck me, man. I feel like fucking two fucking cocks in my fucking ears. Fucking my brain. Fucking the brain turns to slush, runs down my fucking nose. And you're bottling this shit. The stupidity, the hate, the self blaming and fucking I gotta let it out. After all this shit, how can I be sane? If I am sane after all this shit, then maybe I am a psychopath. Because any normal man can't fucking be sane after this shit. I feel better just letting it out. Yeah, I ripped off AVGN and the irate gamer. That was stupid. Did some creepy ass stalking shit and a bunch of letting it all out, whatever. Pfft. I'm not a fucking pussy. That's the thing. I'll let it out. Everyone else to keep it inside fucking inverting that shit. I'm normal. I did nothing wrong. I'm not fucking perfect. She stalked me way worse, fucking two cities away. And then I was feeling so fucking guilty for everything until I just was able to think clearly again. And then I'm like, wait a second. Everything I did was a justifiable reaction. Still wrong, but justifiable. So still, been a stronger man. And then I was like, she hit me, I can't hug her. She stalked me two cities away, I can't stalk her locally. Yeah, I did some fucking stupid shit. I apologized for everything. I could lie. I did nothing wrong. No, because I'm not a fucking pussy. I'm gonna say it right now. Yeah. I assaulted her and I stalked her. There you go. I'm not a fucking pussy.